I'm going to show you how a drag and drop marker question could be used by an English teacher. I've made some text here in Word and I'm just going to make it um, bigger. I'm going to turn this into an image and the way I'm going to do that is by using the snipping tool. The snipping tool can be found down in the start menu. Just go down there and type snip and it should be the top thing that comes up. It's um, standard with Windows. Once you select it, you can drag a box around the text. Once you do that, it will give you the option to save it. So here we go, click on the disk to save it and save it somewhere where you'll be able to find it later on. Then we need to go to Moodle to start making our question. So go to settings, question bank and create a new question and choose drag and drop markers as your question type. We need to give this question a name, and since it's about verbs, it makes sense to give it a name with verbs in it. So identify the verbs and put some information in here about what the kids need to do. Choose a file and choose that um, image that we just made. Now, um, I do have a video that shows you how to make this type of question. Um, we drag markers, but this one's a little bit different. Um, in this one, we're just going to have one type of marker called verbs, and we're going to tick the box that says infinite. This allows a student to drag as an infinite number of verb markers onto the image. So the first thing we're going to do is make a rectangle, define a rectangle on my image. The first verb I've got is eight, and eight is about oh, 250 pixels across from the top left corner, and it's zero pixels down. This is how we define a rectangle. We find the point that's in the top left corner of a rectangle, 250, zero, and then we say how big it's gonna be. I've just moved it across a bit to 255, and I had the length at 50 and the height at 40, but I've just changed it to 60 over 40, and that makes it the right size. Now the next rectangle, I'm just gonna copy the coordinates for the first one, pop it in here and I'm going to then look at it. The next verb is sat, so that's about 520 pixels across. And so I'll change that to 55 to 520 and see how that works. A little bit too far, let's bring it back a bit. And I could just continue to do this all the way through. I'm doing this quite quickly. Like I said, you can see my other video uh, to see how you define these areas. These are all rectangles, so just copying and pasting the coordinates and it's really quite quick, even though I've sped this video up. It doesn't take that long once you get the hang of it. Now I've got seven verbs here in my little paragraph, so I need to add uh, three more blanks just by clicking down here. And the last verb I have is feeling, so I'm just going to copy the box I had for eating, paste it in there, and I need to move it across. Just put in 420, see where that is, that's pretty close. Just change the size a bit. Okay, that's all pretty much done. I'm not going to um, put in any feedback for this question, but you could. I'm not putting any hints in. Um, I need to give it a mark that it's going to be out of. I've got seven verbs here. I could make it out of seven, that's too easy. I'm going to make it out of five so that I'm not giving anything away to the students and I'll just let them know here that the number of marks for the question doesn't necessarily uh, match with the number of verbs in the paragraph. So um, you could have it match up and make it an easier question or you could make it harder by having that not match up. I'm going to go down and save the changes and I can look at a preview. Um, you can see the question is highlighted here. So if I go and click on the magnifying glass to preview it, I'll just drag some of the answers on and try it out. You can see I've got some wrong there, 2.14 out of 5. So I can do that. I can check to make sure it's all right. Um, I can fill in the correct responses just to see um, what it should look like. The, the correct answers are all in the right spot. Yeah, they're all good. Um, so I can close the preview. Uh, and if you need to edit it, you can just click on the edit 
button there which looks like a hand with a pen in it. I hope that's been helpful to you. Check out my other videos if it has and you can see how to make other questions using Moodle.